name is Chaig Lowry, and I am a graduate of Humboldt State University. I have a master's in education and an undergrad degree in uh, journalism. Uh, I was always interested in being able to help tell my indigenous people's stories and imagery is very powerful. So that's why I'm working on this uh, current film. So I am of Yurok ancestry on my mother's side and the Yurok are neighbors to the Wiat people. And I have had the privilege of working with a lot of Wiat and Bear River families for the last uh, 25 years. So, and I also was able to meet with Rick Barto at the Gooditni Gallery opening. Uh, I emceed the event and his work was there and I got to talk with him uh, there. And so, you know, the stories and the emotions that his work bring out amongst our native people uh, are very impactful. And I've known uh, Michelle Hernandez and her family for a very long time. And I've also interacted with Del Arte over the years. So it was a great combination of uh, factors. And then I haven't worked in film uh, for a few years. So this was a nice way to kind of get back into film within the Barto project is looking at uh, Rick's time in the Vietnam War and also the experiences and the emotions and the pathway that he then took uh, as an artist as a result of you know, his experience in war and so the film will look at, will touch on uh, some of his work, but then also his, he aspired to know more about himself, about his Wiat ancestry. And I've had the privilege of uh, interviewing several Wiat community members uh, about their perspective on his journey. And so now, I uh, hope the audience can enjoy this short clip of United States Marine Corps veteran Daryl Sherman. Uh, we spoke with him out at Bear River, and here's what he's going to share about Rick's work. This specific role with art and music and playing that or displaying that for wounded veterans is huge for those veterans that are maybe have self-doubt or maybe they're injured or maybe they don't know what direction they're going to go in and to hear someone's passion someone's art is uplifting and you know knowing that he's there for a job or potentially was there for a job was to help support the troops help bring the morale up possibly, amazing. Because for those veterans, you know, that were wounded or hurt or, or maybe in their darkest places, to have someone to share something like that is, it's awesome, it's huge. I enjoy working with film because I know that as an indigenous person, my perspective is not very prevalent in film and movies. And I get to work with uh, my friend Melvin Cannon, who is of Kumeyaay ancestry from Southern California. He's the videographer and the film editor. And uh, he and I have a good collaboration and a good rapport. And I feel like any work in film, it can't be just about the native story, it should also aspire to build up our native nations. And by that, I mean the networking. So, you know, Melvin and I are both California native and, you know, 
hopefully this is not just our first film. So that thought is very inspirational to me. And then I know that there are other Native people involved with the other films in this project. That's very exciting to me. Um, I think it's a good thing that we can uh, continue to learn from one another. And you know, everybody shares a little bit about who they are when they create a film, whether they're behind the scenes or directing, producing, whatever it is, it all helps us as Native people. So thank you very much to everybody who has tuned in to view uh, Mr. Sherman. And I encourage you to check in next Friday for the next uh, sharing of the next film as part of the Barto Project.